Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. If you're an emulation enthusiast, it is a great time to be alive, but even more so if you love the Nintendo Switch. Whether you're new to the topic or you've been following intensely, emulating the Switch is developing at a staggeringly unbelievable pace. Super Mario Odyssey is naturally one of those titles which people are eagerly anticipating, and the Yuzu Switch emulator team have been giving Odyssey a lot of love recently. It all started with a basic controller input screen, which became the menu screen, to in-game with many corrupt artifacts to where we are today, which is in-game with certain elements including Mario being emulated with a high degree of accuracy, both in character model and colour with limited vertices exploding. This achievement from the Yuzu team in such a short amount of time deserves commending, as it shows the skill the team has, led by Bunny, who is the main contributor currently working on Super Mario Odyssey, along with Sub V. Obviously, much work is still needed in terms of implementing additional instructions to deliver the true Mario experience. That would then be followed by focus placed on performance. Regardless of the current situation surrounding FPS and visuals, for now, the fact that we can load a game save into the Sand Kingdom and experience gameplay, albeit quite slow, is actually outstanding in the world of emulation. To be at this point already is a groundbreaking milestone for things to come. Currently, the Sand Kingdom is the ideal world location to demonstrate the Yuzu team's breakthroughs, as other worlds don't provide the same visual accuracy. One point I must highlight is that remember, this is not about replacing the original Switch experience. Emulators pay homage and respect to the original platform. Yuzu, when more developed, will eventually offer an alternative option that is PC based, designed to help you play your personal backups of original titles. Emulation, when at its full potential, can offer higher frame rates, resolution, and features otherwise unachievable like modded forms of multiplayer. What's the roadmap for Yuzu in a year's time? Who knows, but one thing is for sure, there's never been a better time to be interested in Switch emulation development. The curious point will be when Super Mario Odyssey is fully emulated to a high degree of accuracy, how demanding will it be for the end user? Like most early in development emulators, I'd imagine quite demanding. In-game physics show no signs of behaving strangely as we're able to perform many of Mario's moves the exciting part for me is that each day is like Christmas right now with the Yuzu team constantly delivering presents in the form of improvements. I just can't wait to see what's next. Can you? Stay tuned to the channel and you'll find out. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. Complaining Gamer social media links are also there. If you enjoyed the content leave a like, if you didn't dislike and to stay up to date with all things emulation subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.